Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and once again I am here with my new tutorial for CG Trades Plus exclusively and uh, you must have seen in the preview what I am going to make today. Actually I have bought my new uh, video camera for my VFX works and uh, I shot this pool at my nearest park. This pool is filled with clean water and uh, nothing else. but. Uh, I thought why not to put something else in the scene digitally. So I made several 3D fishes in 3D Max and uh, later composited them in After Effects. So in this tutorial I am going to tell you how I started working on this uh, scene from scratch and uh, how I achieved final result. So sit relaxed and uh, watch the tutorial. After shooting the video, the first concern was to make a fish. I was so excited to see the final result badly that I didn't want to kill my time in modeling and texturing the fish. So I used a ready-made fish model available on internet for free download. So I went to this website 3dmodelfree.com uh, uh, where I found this fish. I downloaded the fish model from here and uh, it came with several files like uh, unwrapped textures. So it was just fine. So I opened this fish file in 3ds Max. And you can see that this mesh has come with the triangulated faces. And just a few days ago, my one quick tip was published in uh, Secrets Plus, how to convert a triangulated mesh in quartz in 3 ds Max. So you can see this tutorial. Actually, this tutorial could be really helpful uh, for those users who have old versions of 3 ds Max, like Max 2009. 2008, but if you use our versions of 3ds Max like uh, Max 2010, 11, 12, 13, then you might have an inbuilt feature in 3ds Max itself. So to use uh, the inbuilt method, just select the mesh first. Uh, you can see this is an um, editable mesh format, and uh, other parts are also in editable mesh. So First of all, select all and then convert them into editable poly. So all these parts are now in editable poly. Now select this part and uh, then go to graphite modeling tools and uh, here you will find geometry all tab and it has quadrify option. Just click on it and voila, the mesh becomes in quad faces. So just like this, keep selecting the different parts and uh, make them quad. So this quadrify option is a very useful tool to use. So now the whole mesh becomes quad. We have textures of this fish also. Hit M to open the material editor. Pick the picker and uh, click on the mesh. And now you can see the applied textures here click on this button to see the textures in uh, the viewport if you render it now it will be rendered using V-Ray renderer because uh, this is the default settings of this file so if you don't have V-Ray or if you don't want to use it uh, just click on rendering go to sign renderer and uh, change the renderer from a V-Ray to default a scan line or whatever renderer you are using. And now this will be rendered using default scan line. Now it's time to animate the fish. For this we will use a free script Spring Magic. And uh, if you want to know more about Spring Magic you can see my this tutorial on C++ where I had created a snake animation using Spring Magic script. 
and uh, you can download this script from here also let's go back to 3ds max once again and uh, now we'll create the rig for the fish so go to bones and start creating the bone chain from head to tail You can enable the side fins too. You can enable front and back fins also. height and width can be adjusted too so just like this keep enabling extra fins in the main bone rig system so now we have uh, created the whole rig system if you see the bone rig system only it will look like this Okay, now select the body of the fish and apply the skin modifier onto it. Click on add to add all the bones and uh, now enable edit envelops option and uh, you can see the default distribution of the skin weights. We really don't need to adjust it because uh, this is the one complete mesh we had attached the other parts like uh, fins and tail to the main body of the fish already so everything is fine now go to helper and uh, make a dummy put it here and uh, pick this first bone and then select and link it to the dummy so that wherever the dummy will go the body follows now increase the timeline length to 100 now let's animate the dummy so turn the auto cube turn on go to fifth frame on the timeline and uh, rotate the dummy a bit go to 10th frame and again rotate the dummy like this so this is the animation between 5th and 10th frames I select these two frames and with the shift key paste drag them here now select all these keyframes and the shift key paste drag them here so just like this keep copying the keyframes to the desired frame length so we have the animation till 100 frames turn off the auto cue button now with the dummy selected go to max script run script and open the spring magic script this is the spring magic window now select the first bone loops 2 and then click on bone now this will be now this will automatically create the animation and keyframes in a couple of seconds this is a marvelous script making such kind of robust animation is just a matter of seconds if you use spring magic a very natural movement of fish just awesome now in the next video we will make a
particle system to generate a bunch of fishes.